Hasidic gems on Pashas Emer. It says in the Torah, Lenefesh, Loyitama, etc. That a Kohen is not allowed to defile himself, become Tomei, to a corpse, to a dead person. Lenefesh, to a dead person, Loyitama, etc. Um, should not defile himself. A Kayan cannot go near a corpse. That's the simple. The Hasidish Torah are telling us the secret of Kiruv that we are not allowed to leave to, to let one Jew, one Nefesh, we are not allowed to let him become defiled. If, if, if a Jew is, is not from, or he's from and he needs more to be, to, we have to encourage him to become better, no Jew should be left behind. We have to try to, to be Makarov and bring closer every single Jew that there is. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Emmer, the Pasuk says, with Nefesh, same Pasuk, among his people a dead person shall not a, a Kayan should not defile himself among his people which means that while there are other people that can bury him so a Kohen is not allowed to be involved that's the simple the Hasidish is telling us, you think Ba'amov means among his people? If there are other people there, he's not allowed to defile himself? Amov comes from Gecholim Oimamais. It comes from flickering, flickering coals. And the Pesach is saying, the Nefesh Vayitama Ba'amov, if a, a Jew shouldn't, shouldn't be flickering, a little bit warmth and a little bit cold he shouldn't be flickering he shouldn't be that way what should he be? he should be warmth with warmth and with enthusiasm that's what he should serve Hashem with not cold and hot cold and hot flickering like a like a coal that's flickering he should be totally enthused and that's the way to serve Hashem Continuing with Hasidic gems and Parshish Emmer. The Pasuk says, the first Pasuk, the same Pasuk that we were talking about till now, the Nefesh Loyitama Biyamov, to a dead person, uh, the Kohen shall not defile himself Biyamov when there are other people present that can, that can bury this dead. But Rashi brings down, Yotza meis mitzvah. If a person is a meis mitzvah, meis mitzvah is generally um, in, in translated to mean that if there's nobody, if 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 the if there's nobody else there, nobody else can bury this person except the kohen. Then the kohen is allowed to to bury him. This comes to exclude meis mitzvah. He's not allowed to defile himself but this excludes the case of Mes Mitzvah when there's nobody else there to bury him. That's the simple. The Hasidic and Terlach are creating a new translation of Mes Mitzvah. Mes Mitzvah doesn't mean there's only he's, he's, a, he's a dead person and there's nobody else to, bear, to, to be involved with burying him. Meis mitzvah means literally what it translates. When it comes to a mitzvah, he's dead. When it comes to a mitzvah, when it comes to Torah, and when it comes to a, to a mitzvah, he's without life. No life to him. When a person is like that, he's so far removed. Then it's a mitzvah to, 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 to be concerned for him and to lead him in the right path. We should be zeicher to this. Amen. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Emmer, it says in the Torah, 
loy yikrechu korcha bereisham. They shouldn't. They should not make baldness upon their head. Meaning, uh, Rashi says not only a koyin, uh, even uh, Yisrael. Everybody is warned. Don't pull out your hair over a dead person. Don't make yourself bald over this barasham uh, um, upon their heads. They shouldn't make themselves bald um, over over mourning for a dead person. That's the simple. The Hasidim Shetorah are telling us lo yikrechu korcha. The Torah is the Hasidim Shetorah are saying. Be careful. Don't be like Korach. You think Yikrechu Korcha means bald? That means don't be like Korach. What did Korach do? He made Machloikas on the Rosh, on, 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 on the leaders of Klal Yisrael. Don't be like, don't make Machloikas uh, against the leaders of Klal Yisrael. Listen to what they say, because they know much, much better than us what we have to do. Continuing with Hasidic gems and Parshish Emmer, it says in the Torah, Umin HaMikdosh Lo From the sanctuary, from the base HaMikdosh, from the Mishkan, he shall not go out. Meaning that if a Koyin, Rachman Al-Etzlan, is doing the Avodah in the Mishkan, in the Beis HaMikdash and he's informed that his father or mother passed away so Rashi brings down Chazal that says the meaning of this Pasuk is even if he's an Onain that's a mourner before burial he doesn't, he doesn't go out from the he doesn't stop what he's doing he continues and he's allowed to do the Aveda he's allowed to do the Aveda even while he's a mourner that's the simple. The Hasidish Torah are telling us from Minamikdash Lo Yetzei that it's going on everybody, every Jew. Be very careful not to be Masiach Das. Don't don't forget about Hashem. It should he should always be he should always cling to holiness. He should always have Hashem ever present before his eyes. Whatever he's doing, Hashem is watching. Hashem is, is listening. To be very, I mean, I may, nev, never go out from the sanctuary. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Emmer. says in the Torah, the mitzvah of Sphira, of counting the Omer, Usfartem lochem mimochres hashavas, you should count, you should count the Omer, um, until Shavuos. That's the simple. Usafarta means count. The Hasidic Torah are telling us like this that Safartem, there's another meaning for Safartem. It means a boundary. And Lochem means you, but it means Lochem is usually used for, for your material needs and wants. Lochem, your things. Make a boundary around your material needs and wants. Make a boundary about it. Don't just curb yourself. Stop yourself from, from immersing yourself in that and immerse yourself only in, in Ruchnius and something that has spiritual values. A Sikum of all the Hashkafis, the Torah outlook, that we have learned from the Hasidic gems. We learned that no Jew should be left behind. If a Jew is drifting away, we have to do whatever with, with uh, whatever talents we have to bring him back. No Jew, not even one, should be lost, should be brought back. We also learned that um, we learned that um, if somebody does mitzvahs 
and he's dead. He's no, there's no tam, there's no taste, there's, uh, you know, like, like rote, rote. That person is a mess mitzvah. His mitzvahs are all dead, and we have to try to bring him back. We also learned not to make machlaikas. Never make machlaikas against leaders, against gedolim, against sadikim. Never make machlaikas because we have to respect them, we have to accept their interpretations of what the right thing to do is. We learned that a person should never, should always have Hashem in front of him. He should never, never be Masiach Das, never forget for a moment that Hashem is watching and Hashem sees what we're doing, He hears what we're doing. We should never, never forget that. We also learned that when it comes to material needs and wants, we have to be able to make a boundary around them and not to go overboard in material needs and wants. We should direct all our energies for spiritual growth. We should be zeichet to this. Amen. We are